There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, Maker Corner, and other stuff too. Welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Today I'm going to be talking about a PyBot robot that I got from a company called JJ Robots. And uh, I'm going to go through an unboxing, and then I'm also going to be uh, doing a video series on how to build the robot. So really looking forward to it. Um, been wanting to put a robot arm together for a while. It's just more for a novelty right now, um, just to kind of play around with it and, and see what it's capable of. All right, here is what the completed robot looks like. Just wanted to show that before I get into too much of the details on the build. All the parts overall went together. Um, there were, I did have a little bit of over extrusion, um, which required the use of a file to clean up some parts, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, I really like the way it fits together. It's very solid. Uh, the, the belts all move well uh, when it's powered on. There's a little rubber band to help keep the clamp tight. The control board is down here. And then you've also got um, three motors, two here, and there's one holding the lead screw here. I did have a few problems in this build. Um, I'll get to that in the video, but they did not send me the servos, so I had to kind of cobble some together over Amazon. I, I was able to get a refund, which was nice, at least for that. Um, the other problem is that I had one of my steppers was bad. Luckily, I had a, a replacement one available from another project. So, But overall, everything went together really well. Um, I think the software is great, and uh, there's a lot more capability that I've yet to explore with this robot. So definitely a cool project, a lot of fun. Okay, here's a quick video clip of the robot in action. And uh, in this video, I'm actually controlling it from my MacBook uh, using the Python application. And this is uh, going to be covered later in the series, but you can see real briefly how it runs. Okay, so I went ahead and ordered the kit. I'll provide a link in the description below. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it now. So the kit comes with just about everything you need. I did not order the 3D printed parts, but I ordered everything else. So it looks like uh, there's some Haribo Tang Fast Sticks. Never tried those before, but looking forward to it. And we've got the PyBot robotic arm kit. Looks like maybe some instructions, as well as uh, some screws, uh, different bearings, um, including like the LMU-8 maybe a short version of that there's also a coupler for a lead screw uh, several NEMA stepper motors and a couple belts there's also some maybe some servo wire there rods here and a lead screw hopefully you can see that okay maybe three smooth rods and then a lead screw and then these I believe are going to be the motors oh that's that's the power supply it looks like so it's 12 volt, 2 amp, if I remember right. And then these are probably the motors feel pretty hefty. Yeah, there you go. So there's three motors, just your standard uh, NEMA 17. They look like they're pretty decent quality. Motec, never heard of them. And then we've got stepper drivers here. Um, maybe a, it's like a little connector cable. USB cable ah, and the board. So that's the actual board there. Here you see that I went ahead and printed out all parts uh, for the robot arm. So this is found in the instructions as well. There's a link to them. I ended up using two different printers to print these. So it's all in pet G, but as you can see here, this was a little bit different color. I did this one on my um, recently put together a Hamera on my Ender 3. So I, I was really happy with the print quality on that. The rest of these are looking a little, maybe a tiny bit over extruded. Um, these were done on the Prusa Mini. So hopefully I won't have any issue putting these parts together. Um, I'm gonna test the fit. Worst case scenario, I might have to you know, print a, reprint a few parts. Um, but everything does look good. This probably represents around, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 hours of printing. So not, not too bad of a project. Okay, so basically my next steps, I'm going to be following the instructions online and I'm going to kind of go step by step. It doesn't really look like it's an overly complicated assembly. Um, and you can learn more about the robot arm um, just looking at the website. That's pretty much all I did when I was doing research. Um, in the past, I actually have done another JJ Robots project and it was a dry erase board bot. 
it's a really cool project. It probably took me a day to put this together, but um, I was really impressed with the overall, oops, the overall design of it. Um, there's also a little board in the back, probably a similar board, has a, a motor, but what it does is it, um, you just give it an image or text and it'll write it out on the dry erase board. It's really cool. So I, I like what these guys are doing. Some of the reason, or one of the other reasons that I wanted to get this robot is because all the code is open source and it's um, it's actually also based on a, another design on Thingiverse. They've just taken that design and, and done a lot of tweaks to it, making it even better. So I'm looking forward to putting it together.